DCI Banks is back on the telly tomorrow. It is, mate. Fourth series uh, kicks off tomorrow. It's one. It's the one starring Stephen Tompkinson playing a working class, moody, stubborn detective. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Yet the drama that regularly attracts six million viewers. It was filmed in Leeds, and Stephen Tompkinson, DCI Banks himself, will be on the show with Liz. Well, I've also got uh, another star of the show coming up in less than ten minutes' time, who also will be appearing in the Dad's Army movie. Oh, nice. Mm. Looking forward to that one. Absolutely. BBC Radio Leeds. It is BBC Radio Leeds. It's Nick with you in for Andrew Edwards. Now, I've been very excited to introduce you to my final guest this afternoon, Holly Dempsey. She starred alongside Ricky Gervais. She's recently finished filming the new Dad's Army movie, and you can see her on screen tomorrow night in DCI Banks. I imagine the fact that you're so busy is why you couldn't remember exactly where you filmed DCI Banks when you <laughs> talked this afternoon, Holly. <laughs> oh, no, apologies for that. <laughs> it's all right. I don't mind. Living in and out, and it's... Yeah, I knew I was near Emmerdale. You were near Emmerdale. Yeah, we worked that out. You're on Kirkstall Road when you did DCI Banks. And in fact, I remember because I saw the, the catering trucks down there. Did you enjoy being in Leeds? Oh, I loved it. Yeah, it was really nice to stay because I stayed in the centre and everyone was really friendly. And yeah, no, I really enjoyed my time. I was only there for a couple of days, but yeah, I loved it. Well, we're glad that, we're glad that you uh, you had a well, nice welcome here. DCI Banks, it's on tomorrow night, 9 o'clock ITV. Now, you've said that you can tell me some of the story about what who you're playing, but not too much so you don't want to give it away. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I play a girl called Brody Nash, and she works in the salon, which is quite integral to this uh, episode. It's the first episode of the series, so it's great to be straight in there. And it's a really gritty episode about a young lady who goes missing, and it's just you know, trying to wrap up the whole story. So it's a great one to be part of. I was gripped by reading it in the first place. So That's got to be a good sign I when you're gripped by the script. Spoil it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so a good sign. Will you be watching it? Nine o'clock tomorrow night, will you sit down and watch yourself? Uh, yeah. My mum will make me. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Again, I love I loved this episode, so I really want to see how it's come together and enjoyed working with So, yeah, I'll definitely be watching it. And it's a real thing. Our family, we have to sit down and... You know, crack a bottle and watch, <laughs> watch. Yeah, <laughs> you might need one after this episode as well. Is it still exciting times? Because you, you're quite young, but you're really starting to break through now. I really want, as you know, I want to talk about Ricky Gervais. I'm a massive fan of yeah. his. <laughs> uh, but this must be a really exciting period for you, just breaking through. Yeah, it really is. But I've wanted, I've wanted this for so long since I was about twelve. I was had it set, like my sights set on being an actress. So it feels almost like I've worked towards it and. Luckily, it is paying off now. But what incredible jobs. I can't... I've dreamt about jobs like this, but it's when they come true, you just think, well, <laughs> I'm very lucky. Well, let's talk about being lucky and getting to act alongside Bill Nye, <laughs> Sir Michael Gambon, Tom Courtney, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Alison Stedman. <laughs> How do we even start, Holly? <laughs> oh, you're telling me, the first rehearsal was quite something. You're just sitting in a room trying to play it cool, you know. I'm part of this film too. And then you look around and think, oh my goodness, I've grown up watching all of you. It's, yeah, it's quite something. But they're all doing what they love, just like I am. So you learn quite quickly that we're all just wanting to, we're all connected by such a wonderful job. I think I was excited to be part of Dad's Army, but everyone else was as well. You know, Catherine Dieter Jones obviously said yes because it was such a classic. So yeah, it was an incredible thing to do. And you play, you play a kind of, you play a sort of a new character, don't you? Yeah, I played Pike's girlfriend, um, and I don't think she was featured very much in the original series, possibly once, but apparently she never said a word, so that's quite interesting. I can't imagine uh, you not saying that. a word. Having seen you play one or two roles, are you? Uh, I imagine you say one or two things. You get a word in edgeways. Just about, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me... <laughs> tell me about filming in Scarborough. Um, you must have been exhausted, because... So you get the part playing Vera in Dad's Army which is a really exciting thing to do you yeah. also happen to be committed to Ricky Gervais's Derek so how did you get around that? Uh, it was a very very tense couple of weeks with me and my agent going back and forth to the production on D Dad's Army who did really want me which is lucky because um, it was just a scheduling nightmare because they ran exactly alongside but thank God uh, producer Charlie Hansen on Derek is just wonderful and did everything he could to make, you know, to let me be able to do both. Yes, but Holly, look, so listen, Holly, they can be as wonderful as you like. You can't be in two places at once. How did you do it? <laughs> well, every night we'd be in a car, dropped to the station, on a train, last train, 
picked up in London, sleep for as long as you can, get back up, do the London leg, then back on the train that night. So, yeah, that happened every night for about about a week and a half, two weeks, which is about as much as humanly possible. <laughs> <laughs> well, I read an info, you said you were an absolute shell by the end of it. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> I mean, when you love it, you, you know, it was fine. I didn't complain once, but it was a bit mental, yeah. Producer Larry is out there. I have to tell you, producer Larry's out there pulling faces. But you know what? The harder you work, the luckier you get. She's about to star in a movie with Catherine Zeta-Jones and she gets to work alongside Ricky Gervais. Oh, exactly. Yeah, complain. <laughs> I have to, before, before I let you go, um, actually, tell us, first of all, Dad's Army, you, you finished now, right? Oh, yeah, that was, we finished, I finished filming in November. So it was quite quick and we've got to wait such a long time for it to come out now. Which is, yeah, frustrating. But <laughs> but it gives you plenty of time to get a dress for the uh, the premiere. Oh, my God, yeah. It takes long enough. And the shoes, <laughs> I've got such small feet. It will take me about a year to find the right shoes. <laughs> so you've got to find some <laughs> tiny shoes for the premiere. Yeah, you must be You yeah. must be so excited, Holly, to know that you will be out. Uh, and it's a major film premiere that you're going to be involved in. Yeah, I, yeah. I, hasn't really, I haven't really thought about that bit yet. It'd be very exciting just for us all to get back together and see the film that we all made together. So... That'll be great, let alone the fact the rest of the world's going to go back to Dad's Army and revisit it. It's very exciting. It's going to be wonderful, isn't it? Yeah, and you get to call wait. Sir Michael Gambon Mikey? Oh, yeah, me and no. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> no. right. we, yeah, we were, we've all had lunch and dinners together and everything, so we quickly become pals. But what there a, is such a wonderful cast. What yeah. a dream come true for you. Listen, yeah. I've got about 40 seconds, so I am gonna, I've done it already once this afternoon. I'm going to abuse my position. I really want <laughs> to know about Ricky Gervais. I'm such there a big fan go. of his. What was he, what's he like? Oh, he's horrible. Stop no, it, he's stop it. <laughs> I thought you went to hear that. And he's so generous as a director. And you, I had more than, ever, you know, I had so much opportunity to make up my own lines. And I've had some of my own lines from the audition kept in the first series. So... He's just so much fun. All day long you laugh. He's always saying something funny. As you, just as you'd imagine him to work with, he is that guy. <laughs> Thank you for not spoiling my dream of Ricky Gervais. Uh, Holly, it's so, such a pleasure to speak to you. We can't wait to see you in the Dad's Army movie. We'll see you ITV 9 o'clock tomorrow night in DCI Banks. Brilliant. Thank you, Leeds. <laughs> I'll be back soon, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see you there and we will say hello. Holly Dempsey.